The Philharmonic Hall of Szczecin is located in Poland. It looks like a group of white mountains. The architecture around it, which was built in the 18th and 19th centuries, was severely damaged by the bombing in World War II. In 2014, the new concert hall designed by Barazzi Vega was built on the site of the old concert hall. And won the 2015 European Union Prize for Contemporary Architecture. This elegant architecture is so moving that we want to share it as the second video of the famous architecture series tutorial. Thanks to the immersive experience of Google Earth. We can still get a close look at the White Mountains, even if we're thousands of miles away. The 3D real-time effect of Google Earth also provides a reference for our modeling later. We tried our best to obtain the technical drawings of the architecture from the internet, but we still haven't got the accurate data. Fortunately, we can use the measurement function of Google Earth, and then infer the size relatively close to the real architecture, according to our knowledge and experience, and finally build the model. Building these dense grids is time-consuming and laborious, but it provides enough details for the final picture. Of course, the glass between the grids must also be modeled. We finally determined the perspective, looking at the building from the corner. Compared with the technical problems, how to sublimate our impression of this elegant building and present it in the picture is more important, and it is that which makes what we're doing meaningful. So, what are we going to do? The answer is white. We want to remove all the colors in the picture. We want white sky, white buildings, white snowy streets, even the white isolation piles and white everything. That the picture presents a surreal and pure atmosphere, just like the reflection of our spiritual world. Okay, now let's achieve our imagination. We chose an HDRI of clouds and put it into the V-Ray dome light to provide the environment light for the scene. And improve the overall intensity of the dome light. Remember the function of gamma curve. In the first video of the famous architecture wallpaper series, we mentioned that this value can affect the contrast of HDRI. We can get sharper shadows by increasing the contrast of light and dark sides, but this time we kept the default value because we don't need a strong contrast but a soft environment light. Now it seems that the result is exactly what we want. All of this seems so simple in the video, but if you operate it yourself, you might get terrible results. Yes, you have to constantly test different HDRI and adjust the brightness of it to finally find your favorite one. Don't lose heart during the process. In fact, we're just the same as you. We don't have any magical solutions. Just keep trying lots of similar HDRI of clouds after deciding the style of the picture. It's not an easy process, but when you finally get a beautiful picture. You will know it's all worth it. This is the joy of creation. Now we have the satisfying environment light, but the building looks a bit dull. That's because it doesn't have interior lighting. Put some sphere lights inside the building, which will increase the vitality of the building and make it look vivid. Sphere light is easy to use. Compared with the rectangle light, you don't need to worry about its direction because it emits light evenly from all directions.
we set the appropriate color and intensity for these sphere lights. If you don't want the light of the facade look too uniform, there is a tip. Light reaches your eyes through the glass, so you can just make the transparency of the glass less uniform. Add a noise texture in the refraction color of the glass material. Which means that in all white areas, the glass is more transparent and the light will travel through the glass completely. While the black areas are less transparent and the light will be dimmed. Adjust the UV size of this map and we will get a more natural facade light. These subtle changes are not so noticeable, but they make the picture look great. Finally, the materials. We added white material to the whole building, even the isolation piles beside the road. As for the snow on the road, and a displacement, and put a black and white bitmap of ruts in the texture slot. It looks like this. The white part bulges and the black part is sunken. The amount in the options determines the degrees of the bulges and the hollows. To achieve this effect in V-Ray, don't forget to edit the objects to be replaced into groups. Let's look at the result. Elegant and dreamy white architecture. I think we did it. This is a very simple example. As you can see, we didn't use very complicated technology. I think that the most important factors that makes a good picture may not be just the so-called technology. Ask yourself what you really want and use these seemingly boring tools to do more interesting things. Please enjoy the creative process. If you like this wallpaper, you can get it from our Behance homepage and use it on your mobile phone. If it inspires you, please leave a comment. Your support will inspire us to make more interesting tutorials. This is SketchUp Rabbit Hole. Subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. You will get more interesting tutorials and examples of things that you've never seen before. We are special. See you next time.